Books. They're big and small, short and tall, old and new. They can smell like a musty library basement, ink fresh off the printer, or the person you borrowed it from. They can be dog-eared, coffee-stained, annotated, or bookmarked. You can read them here, 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 and even there. Books hold so much information, from history to religion to cures to whole imaginary worlds. Books have given me a magic portal. Wow, I'll have to read that and this too. People of all ages read to learn new skills, to gain knowledge, or to escape. And reading, which we've been doing for over 5,000 years, is one of our main modes of communication. But as more and more people turn to digital forms of sharing information, where does that leave the physical, printed book? According to Pew Research Center, 65% of Americans have read a print book in the past year. A print book. Meaning, in a room full of 100 people, 65 of those people read a physical book, turned actual pages. And this doesn't mean those other 35 people didn't read it all. They could have read a digital book, like a Kindle or a Nook, or even a PDF. But the signs are showing these digital books aren't first choice, even now. I love hardbacks, I yeah. love books. You know, and you can't give an ebook as a present. You can't wrap it up. Compared to reading something on your Kindle, iPad, your computer, there's just something so romantic that's been lost. In 2019, ebook sales accounted for less than 10% of the book buying market, which begs the question, who's buying physical books and who's buying books digitally? At least 28% of adult readers purchase both print and digital books. But to break it down into groups, adults 18 to 29 are more likely to read books than those 65 and older. And in the UK, 63% of physical book sales are to people under the age of 44, while 52% of ebook sales are to those over the age of 45. So it seems age is a factor when choosing the medium in which we read books. Some older people say they read ebooks because they don't have to go to the bookstore and can make the font as big as they'd like. While some millennials and Gen Zers say they desire an escape from technology whenever they can, as their entire lives revolve around screens. The younger generations argue physical books have a nicer sensory experience and are better at conveying information. There absolutely is a difference between print books and electronic books that you read on a tablet. Books have lasted for so long for a certain reason. I think you do gain something different when you're looking at something on a page or you're feeling something on a page. In a study reported in The Guardian, it was found that people reading ebooks were less likely to recall events in a short story than people reading the same story in a print book. And there's been countless studies proving that reading from screens affects comprehension and the ways in which our brains synthesize information. And science actually says you'll absorb more of the information you read in a paper book and you'll sleep better after the fact. So print books are still the favorite among most people. So if all generations prefer print books, even as our lives become more digital, books can't be dying, right? Well, it's complicated. Amazon, the biggest platform for self-publishing writers and the biggest seller of ebooks, is known for not publicly sharing their sales data. So it's not so simple to compare the sales of ebooks to print books. There's also a barrier when it comes to ebooks that isn't accounted for in studies looking for preferences between e-readers and print books. Ebooks just aren't as accessible. Although over 50% of the US population has a tablet and 78% have a laptop or desktop computer, that still leaves out a large number of people who simply don't have a digital device from which to access ebooks. So, how could their preference possibly be accounted for? In the 2010s, it seemed like everyone thought bookstores were dying and that e readers would take over. Ebooks, in fact, will be the death of books. This is going to be big. But that didn't really happen. It turns out, ebooks were still a bit too pricey to outweigh the benefits and experience of good old fashioned print books. People who are using price to shop are not seeing that differential that they once saw. Hey, if you're talking about price, the library is still a thing. Oh, what? You can rent as many as you want. And who doesn't love to see a tall glass of water like this on their shelf? If ebooks become more accessible, or even closer in feel and aesthetics to real books, there's a real chance they could take over. But as of now, it's not looking like print books are going anywhere anytime soon. I think the physical object is very appealing. The book lover loves to have a record of what they've read. Over 675 million books were printed in 2018. And in the last five years alone, adult nonfiction revenue has grown 22.8%, and young adult nonfiction has grown nearly 40%. Which brings us to 2020, a glorious year for books. Because people were staying home with little to do, book sales in 2020 skyrocketed with a 7% rise in unit sales. There are currently theories that physical books could very well become artisanal, like hand-processed film or woodblock printing. But for now, it looks like physical books are here to stay. And that's quite all right with us.